Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Um, I know everyone is staying home because of this uh, COVID-19. Uh, everyone are getting bored at home. I hope uh, everyone are safe. Staying at home, please do stay at home. And don't watch unnecessary videos or forwarded messages. If you want to check some updates on this uh, COVID-19, just go to the government website and do check here. Uh, check how the things are going on. And uh, try to engage yourself with some home stuff like uh, cooking or cleaning or try to keep your kids also engaged with all those things so that uh, you don't feel bored or you don't feel like uh, going out somewhere and uh, just make your time spend time with your family and do some useful stuff watching all those unnecessary videos will make you so panic and uh, very stressful for you which is not good for you just stay home safe and spend time with your family today i'm going to show you a very easy recipe at home which is very tasty for you and refreshing also that is a very trending now in online which is dalgona coffee which is very easy to make uh, and uh, very tasty also and today i'm gonna do that i'm gonna engage my kid also in that so that he doesn't get bored or stick with the gadgets all the time so i'm calling my son mohit here so he's gonna help me in making the dalgona coffee. I'm just gonna give the ingredients to him and he's gonna do that for me. Say hi. Hi. Okay, now we'll start doing that. Okay, and now the measurements for the ingredient dalgona coffee, I'm gonna show you. I have taken here the instant coffee powder here and I'm gonna add two tea te teaspoon of this. See, I'm taking with this spoon and I'm gonna add in this two teaspoon, the whole two teaspoon. And do you wanna add the sugar more? Yeah. Okay. You can add two two teaspoon of sugar in this. Okay. Uh, if you want strong, you have to add two teaspoon. Otherwise, you can add if you want. Uh, so one more spoon. Yeah, one more spoon. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So if you wanna add. Uh, if you want more sugary then you can add still more otherwise two teaspoons is good and with the same measurements you have to add hot water i have taken here hot water here i'm adding two teaspoons of hot water and we have to whisk it nicely and let my son do this because this has to be done at least for 10 minutes so that we get a frothy texture okay so let me start i'm gonna whisk this see you can see uh, so we need to keep on whisking till this come into a frothy texture uh let me do this for some time or you want to help me doing yeah. this yeah. okay good thank you you have to whisk it nicely for at least for 10 minutes, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, now after 5 minutes, you can see this is getting thick. Uh, but we have to still make it still frothy. So maybe for another 5 minutes, uh, we can just whip this out. Or to become nice and creamy, I can smell this. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah. It does smell nice. So you want to whisk it? Okay, yes. you can do that for another 5 minutes. That's very good. And uh, I can take all the other ingredients like we need milk. So that's it. So I'm going to prepare that. I'm going to show you in two ways. One with hot milk, one with cold milk. So we can do it. So some people like it to have it cold and some people like it to have it hot coffee. So I am going to show you both. See now you can see this is becoming frothy and thicker. I think this is the, this is done now. This is enough, the consistency. And now we can serve it. Okay. Mm. Now I have taken here two cups of milk. I have only half a glass milk in this one is hot coffee and one is cold and um, do you want to take some ice cubes from the fridge yeah sure thank you and i have taken one half cup of milk and 
in this, I'm going to add the whipping cream. Mm, this is so good. Now, in the other one, you want to add ice cubes in this? Yeah, sure. Okay, just add some ice cubes. Just put some ice cubes. Okay, so let it be nice and cold. What's wrong? Okay. No, you can add for the cold coffee. Okay. I'm going to add this. Coffee is ready to serve. This is very easy to make and just you can just make it with your kids and have it in the summertime. It's very good. Okay, now you can have your whole coffee and I can have the pot. Okay. Here you go, Dagona coffee. And if you want you can sprinkle some cocoa powder on this. And if you want, you can mix some um, cocoa powder in the whipping time also. Like when you're whipping the coffee, you can add some cocoa and make it, a, like you make it as a some other refreshing thing. Uh, it's so good when you have to taste it. It is so good and uh, so satisfying. Also, please do this at home, try this at home and taste it and comment on my video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and share my videos if you like it. See you and stay home and stay safe.